I went to UCLA and I studied global studies and history. And after that, I left to Bangladesh for a brief moment in time. And when I went there, I went to the Bangladeshi Museum. Over there, I was so blown away because I saw pictures of, of artists, poets, intellectuals that were all murdered in this genocide. And I just think it's so important for our generation, for us to know about this, this genocide that occurred. Currently, I'm a journalist and I'm working for Current TV, which is Al Gore's global TV network. And over there, I am starting to get funding for a documentary I will be producing on the Bangladeshi genocide. Thank you. It is my goal to make sure that everyone is well informed about this. Currently, we have a documentary on the Cambodian genocide, but why not the Bangladesh genocide? Why doesn't anybody know? I don't get it. People talk about the Holocaust, the African American slavery, but we, it's, it's our duty, I think, of the young generation to talk about this genocide. So, I'm going to start the speech. If Bangladesh were not in existence as an independent country, then most of us would not have the opportunity to be born as Americans, or most of us would not have the opportunity to come to the United States. So we, the new generation, are sincerely grateful to those martyrs who sacrificed their lives and those political leaders, including people from all walks of life, who with so much dedication contributed in the process of Bangladeshi independence. We are very much honored to have here in this evening among us three Liberation War heroes. Deputy Commander-in-Chief of Liberation Forces in 1971 and the convener of the Secretary Commanders of Forum Air Vice Marshal A.K. Kandukar, Bir Uthan, Valiant Freedom Fighter and the Co-Governor of Sector Commanders Forum, former Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Harun R. al Rashid. Beer Proti, and the Chief Coordinator of Sector Commanders, Fora Major Jamil D. Hassan. Beer Proti. Please accept our heartiest thanks on the behalf of New Bangladesh Generation living in Southern California. From our parents and grandparents, we learned about our past glorious history of this Bengali nation. With deep respect, we convey our gratitude to those with so much dedication contributed in the process of Bangladesh independence. The nation is paying now flowing tribute to the illustrious sons of the soil who made the supreme sacrifice for us in 1971. Bangladesh has a long history spanning thousands of years, a land complete with history to finally achieved independence in the year 1971 after a nine-month-long liberation war, which is the greatest event in history of our Bengali nation. The greatest achievement is our independence, but the path to independence was not a short one. It stemmed from many years of political struggle. In 1947, the subcontinent was partitioned into India and Pakistan based on the religion by the British ruler. Pre President, President Bangladesh became Eastern wing of the then Pakistan, but the movement of our autonomy of East Pakistan started within a couple of years because of language and cultural differences and economic disparity between two weeks. The language movement of 1952 to recognize Bangla as the state language may be termed as the first step towards independence. On the 21st of February, 1952, corresponding to 8th Balgan 1359 in the Bangla calendar, a number of students campaigning for the recognition of Bangla as one of the state languages of Pakistan were killed when police fired upon them. Since then, that day marked as the milestone to inspire Bengalis to fight against social injustice and exploitation. Bangladesh is the only country in modern history of human civilization where people sacrifice their lives to defend their mother language and culture. 
It has been a great honor to Bangladesh that the 21st of February was proclaimed the International Mother Language Day by UNESCO on the 17th of November, 1999. Progressive student movement and demand of pro-people education policy in 1962 made another step forward to shape the political process in then East Pakistan. Political and economic deprivation of Bengalis prompted Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman to put forward in 1966 his historic six points which in effect structured the foundation of East Pakistan's future independence. Then the history from 1966 until the Liberation War in 1971 was full of student mass movements with sacrifices of lives of many students and factory workers. Historical student mass movement of 1969 was another milestone to create a spirit of Bengali nationalism under the leadership of Bhagavandu, Sheikh Mojibur Rahman to fight against the oppression and exploitation by ruling military from the Pakistan. Bhagavandu declared at a di historic public meeting held in Ramana Race Course, we named Suharawardi Udayan on March 1971, attended by more than one million people. This struggle, this too, is a struggle for freedom. This struggle, this too, is a struggle for independence. It was a de facto declaration of independence. On the 25th of March, 1971, the Pakistani army, in a pre planned manner, started massive killing and destruction on the Bengali nation, what may be termed as the history's worst genocide that triggered countrywide spontaneous resistance from freedom-loving people with the spirit of Bengali nationalism, the armed struggle for liberation of Bangladesh. There is no such nation in the world where almost 95% of the population directly or indirectly got involved in their war of independence. This happened in our war of independence. After nine months of bloody war, due to heroic resistance and supreme sacrifices of valiant freedom fighters, Bangladesh finally became an independent sovereign state. During that period of nine months, the barbaric Pakistani army physically abused more than 200,000 women, killed as high as 3 million people. About 10 million people took shelter in the neighbor country, India. In exchange of so many lives and sacrifices, what we got is today's Bangladesh. We people with proud history of Bengali culture, and here we are in the USA. We convey the spirit of liberation war based on the principles of secularism, democracy, and, and exploration of free humane society where women have equal rights as men. Where regardless of religious belief, all people can live in harmony with mutual respect. In 1971, the Pakistani occupation army and their local collaborators, Razakars, al Badr al Sham, mainly from the religion based on political party Jamaat e Islam, abducted frontline Bengali intellectuals and professionals with general people and killed them to cripple the nation intellectually. The killers dragged renowned Bengali academics, doctors, journalists, and other eminent personalities out of their houses and massacred them and other killing fields in the country. 37 years have passed, but the nation is still waiting to see the punishment to the perpetrators. We should never forget the evil design of the killers. Placing wreaths at the tomb of martyrs is not enough to show respect to them when all the war criminals in the Bangladesh are still free. It is unfair to the souls of the martyrs by leaving war criminals unpunished. It is better late than never. So we express our full solidarity with the Sector Commanders Forum for a nationwide movement to bring the war criminals to justice. So rise up your hand and voice about this issue. Punishment of war criminals 1971. Bring the war criminals to justice. As a journalist, I believe it is our duty to uncover and acknowledge these issues. We should look at our history and our own struggles as not just as Bangladeshis, but as Bangladeshi Americans. We should unite together and do something about this. So, I'm going to end this speech with Joy Bangla. Thank you. <laughs> তাল পুকুরের পাশে আমি জনমের নির্বাসনে পাঠিয়ে দিতাম